Hi, and welcome back to day six of the Archer Video Solo Long. I hope you all have your button band sewn because today we'll be attaching our pockets. The pockets are front and center on your shirt, so you're going to want to make sure to take your time with this step. I've got some really great tips and tricks in today's lesson, so get ready and let's start sewing. To begin, we first need to form the pockets. The first step is to create the hemmed edge along the top of the pocket. So to do this, we're going to fold down the raw edges and that will finish the top of the pocket. Here you can see I have a fabric that has no defined wrong or right side. So you can see here I have put safety pins in and the safety pins mark the right side. So if you are also working with a fabric like this, the safety pin means right side and the other side is the wrong side. So you're going to start with the wrong sides of your pocket facing up. You can see here we have two notches on either side at the top of the pocket and those mark your fold lines. So you're first going to fold down along that first set of notches and give it a press. Now we still have a raw edge here, so we'll simply fold down along the second set of notches and press. I then like to put a few pins in here just to keep things in place. And we're going to head over to the machine and we're going to stitch this folded edge down just right along the edge on the folded area. So that way we anchor the folded edge down. So let's head over to the machine. All right, to sew this down, I'm going to use my edge stitch foot. And just one thing I want to mention really quick that I forgot to mention in our last lesson is that when you use your edge stitch foot, you're going to need to move the needle over. So here it is in the center position. I move it over to the third position and that just makes sure that since this guide is aligned with the center and you're running your fabric up against it, this way you're stitching down to the side of it to catch your fabric. So just align your foot. I just do a tiny back tack and remove your pins before you get to them. Stitch across. Raise your needle and trim your threads. All right, so here we have one pocket stitched and then you're gonna repeat those steps for the other pocket. And I just like to give everything a little, another little press. Make sure everything's nice and flat crisp before we start folding in our edges. All right, we now need to fold and press the remaining quarter inch seam allowance of the raw edges to the wrong side of the pocket. So that way we have finished the remaining three edges. So you can do this by simply folding the edges over a quarter of an inch and pressing. So you do one edge, the second edge, and then the bottom. And when you fold the bottom, make sure that this flap isn't coming out. Make sure everything's nice and neat and perfectly aligned. So that is one way to fold your pocket. Now, if you have ever found that you've had a hard time getting two identical pockets, I have a trick for that. The trick is to use a jig 
And if you're wondering, what is a jig or why are you talking about woodworking tools? Um, a jig is actually just any device that holds a piece of work and guides the tools operating on or around it. So in this case, the jig is a pocket piece with all the seam allowances removed. Here you can see the original pocket pattern piece and here's my jig with the seam allowances removed. If we align them, you'll see the jig is smaller and you'll see the quarter inch seam allowance around the three sides. My jig is made out of heavy oak tag, but any sort of thicker paper you have is fine. To use your jig, simply place it over your pattern piece and then you're gonna fold the fabric over the edge and press. So that's one side. Make sure it's in there well. Press your second edge and then we'll flip over to the bottom. And again, make sure that these edges are aligned properly. And press. And that's all there is to using a jig. I then remove it, flip the pattern piece over, and give it one more press. So there you have two ways to fold your pockets. This is traditional using a seam gauge and this one is using a jig. You can see they both look identical, um, but this is a great way if you've ever had problems getting matching pockets. Now that we have both pockets pressed, it is time to align them to our front pieces. Now grab your left and right front pieces and a ruler. You should have the pocket placement markings marked already from when we cut, but if you don't, go grab your pattern pieces and mark those now. You're going to start by aligning the top corners of the pockets with the pocket placement markings. Now, what I like to do with my ruler is to just double check that everything is square. Sometimes when you're cutting, things move around. Um, you just wanna make sure that everything's square and in the right place. So align your ruler with the center front and just make sure the top of your pocket is perpendicular to the center front. And then repeat this for the other pocket. And then I just stick a pin through here, uh, through the center, just to keep it aligned properly. Now I like to make sure that the center front is aligned properly. Um, so you'll want the pocket edge to be parallel to the center front, and it is here. So I'll pin that in place. And then since these two edges are properly aligned, the rest should fall into place. So you can pin those. Now you can see here, like if your pocket edge is poking out like that, you can just take a pin and gently scoot it underneath. And then I just pop a little pin through there. And same thing for the other side. You're going to remove your pocket placement markings. So now we have our pocket pinned in place. You're gonna repeat these steps for the other side. Now that our pockets are pinned in place, we need to sew them to our shirt. I like to create a triangle at the top corners of the pockets to reinforce the pocket against any stress it might encounter. It also just looks nice. Now, in order to sew the reinforced corners and attach the pocket in one smooth line of stitching, you're gonna follow the stitching path I'm about to show you. I like to start here at the stitching line. I do a back tack, then I sew up, I sew over a few stitches, and then sew back to this point. From there, we'll continue down to the corner, pivot, to sew across the bottom. 
We're going to pivot again to sew back up to the top. Go across the same amount of stitches you did on the other side. Then pivot to come down here. And then I do a little back tack ending about here. So again, we're going to start here with a back tack up, over, down to the point. Sew down to the corner, pivot, sew across, pivot again, sew up, up to the top, over, back down, and then back tack. So that is the path that if you want to sew this in one swoop with back tacking, this is the best path you can take. So let's head over to the machine and see it in action. Okay, you can see I've switched my foot out. I'm no longer using my edge stitch foot. And it may seem like an edge stitch foot would be great for this. And in theory it would be, except for the reinforced triangle. The guide that's through the center will not want to stitch evenly across um, the fabric. It only wants to edge stitch because of the guide. So I'm switching to my quarter inch foot. And I'll just be stitching as close to the edge as possible. Um, so in my case, that'll be about a sixteenth of an inch, but I recommend you sewing as close as you feel comfortable. You want to make sure you catch this edge. Um, and again, if you were using an edge stitch foot, make sure to put your needle back to center. So to start, I'm just going to sink my needle right on that stitching line and remove this pin. Hold your thread tail so you don't get a knot and do a few stitches of back tacking. So just go forward about three and back about three. Then we're going to come up to this point and pivot. And here you can see we have this extra fabric under here. Just make sure that it's tucked under. We're going to cut off any excess in a later step. So up to the corner. And if you're not sure where your machine ends, you can always hand wheel that final step. So sorry, final stitch. So there we are right in the corner. We're gonna lift our presser foot and pivot our fabric. Then I'm gonna go across about three stitches. Two, three. We're gonna lift our foot again. And we're gonna pivot so that we're stitching to this point. And the easiest way to make sure you're stitching a straight line is just make sure this point right here is in line with your needle. So you can see it is, so we should just be able to go straight to there. There we go. And then we're going to pivot to stitch straight down. Is where you have the fold so just make sure everything's properly tucked under you can see I have one little piece of thread get that tucked under and then stitch to the corner again if you're not sure you can hand wheel one's too many so I'm just gonna force the stitch slightly to the end, pivot, and stitch across. Remove your pin, and again, make sure nothing's sticking out here at this corner. Just hand wheel this last one. So up to the top corner, and again make sure everything's tucked under properly here. Pivot 
and I did three stitches on the other side, so I'm gonna go across three stitches here as well, so they're even. One, two, three. And then again, we're gonna pivot right down here. All right, we've met our line, so I'm gonna pivot so that I'm on the straight. I'm just gonna back tack. Raise my needle and clip my threads. All right. We now have one pocket piece attached. We're gonna go ahead and attach the other one. All right, now that both pockets are attached, I'm gonna show you a little trick that I like to do just to clean up the insides a bit. So let's make sure I'm in focus here. So if you open your pocket to the inside, you'll see this extra fabric right here. I like to come in and just trim that as close to the stitching as I can. And you don't need to worry about this um, fraying or anything like that because we have the pocket double stitched, so it's reinforced. So again, just take your pocket, flip it open, and you're just trimming off this excess. You're gonna repeat that for the other pocket. And that's it for pockets. All right, so that is it for today's lesson. I hope you were able to easily attach your pockets and maybe learned a trick or two. We are all set for our next lesson, so stay tuned for that. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any upcoming lessons. I'll see you back here next time. Bye.